Yep. <laughs> regular meeting and the April 27, 2023 special meeting. So, support. I have a motion and support. Um, anything to discuss or any changes with anybody? Notice? No. Good. Okay. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those in favor nay. Okay. Motion passed. Uh, communications. First one is to receive communication from Joe Ramirez regarding a city ordinance which prevents the keeping or maintaining of foul within city limits. Move to receive. Support. A motion and support. Is there any discussion? Well, I, I mean, I was somewhat curious. Um, has this ever come up before? Or? Oh, yeah. yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Two to five years. Okay. Okay. I know it's something a lot of cities do and a lot of cities don't. Yeah. So it's it's one of those things um if you have them some lots are better suited for having something yeah. like that than others so when you open them up you kind of open up to everybody um uh, then once you open up this farm animal then you'll have requests for other farm animals pot okay. belly pigs <laughs> uh, measure goats you'll have a whole list of things Rings. so and yeah. um, yep and then this and then the next thing is really about what do you do with the uh, manure uh, yeah. Right now, you know, the, the waste haulers are good enough to allow us to throw our pet manure away. Yeah. But once you start adding some other things like that, mm -hmm. you may get some pushback from waste haulers also. So, okay. um, but right now, obviously, it's tough to keep up on code, code enforcement now, adding yeah. this to it on top of everything else. Um, yep. yeah. are, just, are, are there any municipalities in the area that... that not in our general area. No. Okay. No. And I think there also will be talked about it runs the risk of other pets, dogs, yeah. or encouraging wild, wild animals, animals which I'm sure, frequent yes. our city so streets that, that regularly sense. too. So. A year or two ago we had a rather lengthy public okay. discussion. Okay. Thank you. It's a neat idea, but... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah I was just curious on, idea. on the background there for, for Alma. Thank you. Okay. So we had... Uh, Motion and support. All those in favor of receiving Mr. Ramirez's communication? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Not in favor? Opposed. That's the word. Thank you, sir. Opposed. <laughs> okay. Um, so the, motion, the communication has been received. Okay. We Under hearings, we have a public hearing to review the proposed federally Fiscal year 2024 annual city budget and related property tax millage rates. The proposed um, FY 2024 annual city budget was presented to the City Commission on April 11, 2023. Pursuant to Section 6.3 of the Alma City Charter, the City Commission is required to hold a public hearing to provide interested individuals an opportunity to provide input in the review process. The proposed FY 2024 budget was developed with the assumption of the following property tax millage rates being levied in the upcoming year. General fund millage of 14.2244, a transportation millage of 0 .8000, a voted street millage of 3.500, voted library debt millage of 1.0, PA 164 library millage of 0.9874, and a DDA millage within the district of 1.9467. Move to open the public hearing. Support. All those in favor of opening the public hearing? Mm -hmm. Aye. 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 Those opposed? Okay, the public hearing is opened. All right. 
Um, in your uh, packet, um, we've been through this uh, a few times now, but your resolution and uh, the vice mayor just read through the, the millage rates for each um, uh, fund or millage that will be um, on the uh, budget for this coming year. Um, our general fund um, taxes, revenue, um, fees, intergovernmental local revenue, uh, charges, fines, forfeitures, rents, uh, and then other revenue. Um, we have a total of general fund revenue of five million seven hundred seventy-two thousand four hundred twenty-five. Um, within the fiscal year general fund budget uh, for this 2023-24 year, um, the budget is outlined as follows: uh, the community development function. Um, we have the economic development uh, at 199,200, downtown maintenance at 84,500, uh, planning and zoning at 60,000. Under the community safety function, under police, we have 2,027,000. 2, uh, contribution to the fire board, 285,000. Public safety inspection services of $130,050. Property maintenance function, uh, building grounds and maintenance, 252,750. Riverside Cemetery, 300,250. 300, the transportation function, this includes sidewalks in our um, F51 and lighting, under sidewalks, 85,500. Non um, Act 51 Public Works, 12,500. And street lighting, 122,000. Recreational culture function, the recreational culture slash parks, our budget is 389,000. Contribution to the Alma Public Library at 100,000. The executive administration function, this includes city commission, city manager, city clerk, uh, IT, elections, human resources, and engineering. Uh, city commission, we have a budget of 58525 City manager, 174550 City clerk of 121000 Information technology, 106500 Elections of 81700 Human resources of 169500 Engineering at 209300 Fiscal service functions under the general administration, we have 437,500, and under the assessing, we have 366,100 for a total general fund expenditures of 5,772,425, matching our revenue. Um, underneath our um, street funds and utilities, uh, major street fund, um, we have one million. Uh, we budgeted in this fund one million one hundred fifty-six thousand two hundred. Local Street, uh, 623,300. Local Street Millage Fund, 617,000. The State Street Plaza, 105,550. The Transit Services, 1,723,000. The Wastewater Utility, 3,188,875. Water Distribution of 6,971,905. And the Refuge Collection of 732,500. Under discretionary um, presented component units, and that includes the Downtown Development Authority and the Elm Public Library, budget of 12500 and the Elm Public Library total budget of $837,000. Um, under our capital um, improvements um, for the fiscal year, uh, there's a long list of here, but uh, for the, for the uh, folks at home and those that uh, watch our, our, um, our, uh, our meetings, we'll go through those. Uh, the City Hall security upgrades, we have 66000 in the budget for this year. Uh, we have two uh, police um, patrol vehicles that we'll be replacing at 129000 Our sidewalk replacement project, uh, we have 40000 um, Again, in that, uh, that's typically what we put into that program every year. The Charles Avenue Rail Trail Extension Phase 1, um, that will take it from the rail trail currently as it is on Charles Avenue and uh, push it north. To get us about halfway to um, where the trail is currently along countryside apartments up to Warwick Drive, so we only have hopefully one more phase to go after that. Um, the cemetery, um, uh, Columbarium, thank you. <laughs> yep. uh, thank you, thank you, <laughs> appreciate that. <laughs> um, we have some work to do there to um, make that more functional and add some spaces to that um, uh, to generate some extra revenue. Uh, that's at 70000 uh, street light replacements, we have 17000 in that. Uh, downtown holiday, holiday decoration brackets of $6,000. Downtown tree removal and replacements, $114,000. Downtown pocket park construction of $160,000. And that will be done in conjunction with our downtown parking lot project. Um, but that will be done all at the same time. 
Uh, replacement of the sidewalk, uh, river, Riverwalk street lights at 8,000. Michigan Avenue street reconstruction, $400,000. That's uh, part of that grant received from uh, the road commission. Uh, the remaining of that um, will cover what it takes to take us from East Superior Street to Bridge Avenue. That will be all reconstructed and the asphalt on curb and those sorts of things. Richmond Street Reconstruction Millage, uh, $465,000. Uh, right now we're under, um, the Iowa Street project is underway, Harvard is underway. Next year, uh, Richmond um, will be underway with that one. So. Uh, lift stations 9 10 pump replacements at 60,000. Lift stations 9 and 10 pump re control replacements at 5,000. Lift stations 9 and 10 electrical upgrades at 25,000. Lift, lift stations 11, 12, and 14 generation generator replacements of 70,000. Lift stations 11 and, pump, 11 and 12 pump control replacements of 5,000. Wastewater treatment plant security upgrades of 85,000. Disinfection conversion, $1 million. This is the project that we've been you know, talking about working on of moving from the chlorine gas to the, um, uh, hydro, the, the chlorine, liquid chlorine. Um, the Richmond Street Sanitary Sewer Replacement of 245,000. Um, replacement of the Vega flow meters in lift stations, that's 10,500. The Richmond Street Water Main Replacement, 269,500. Water Abandonment, um, 62,000. Water main interconnections of 6,000. West Center water main construction of 280,000. North State Street water main construction of 350,000. The elevated tank repainting of 500,000. Uh, the cat, the cataract, cathodic, <coughs> cathodic <laughs> protection of the uh, elevated tank. I know what that is. I can't say it, but right. it's, it's a protection that's on the inside of the tank to so that it corrode and, and get into the water system. So I know what it is. I just, can't say it. Um, just for the record, I did not know what it was. <laughs> um, the Pine Avenue yeah. water main replacement of 500,000 uh, meter radios and reading equipment of 1.1 million uh, water meter replacements of 1.5 million uh, water tank overflow vent safety screen inspections of 15,000. Water tower control building, the generator, 100,000. Chatterton water main of 80,000. Public works building security upgrades of 80,000. Public works pressure uh, washer replacement of 8,000. And the public works um, equipment replacement of 227,000. So those are all our capitals that uh, we've talked about um, at length. That's why we're you know, in the process of you know, our rate adjustments for the rate it serves and for the um, unit prices for water and sewer. Um, as we said before, all those projects are also not only contingent upon those rates, but also of receiving USDA or state revolving loan funding uh, to make those all happen. Um, these, are, these are, like we discussed, all these projects, um, it's, 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 it's unfortunate that they're all coming, that's being done, have we have to do it now. But these are things that uh, we cannot push down the, down the road for another five to six years. Um, we need to move forward with them. So um, that is our 2023-24 budget um, that we've presented. It is balanced. Um, and um, I'm, like I said in the previous meetings, I'm happy to say um, we uh, have not replaced some personnel. Um, we've been holding off on that. But by doing that, uh, we have put over $500,000 into general fund capital that we'll be working on this coming year. So um, if we did hold off on those positions or find other ways to do the work, uh, we wouldn't be able to get those, those capitals done. So I'm proud of everybody for stepping up and doing their part to help out with that and, and get some of these, hopefully over the next couple of years, get a few more of those capitals done that are out of the general fund that aren't funded through the water, wastewater funds and uh, make a dent in some of these things and make it you know, nicer for the community. So that's all on staff has. Thank you. I'm sure you've seen those numbers in your sleep or have been. <laughs> yeah, we all have been. <laughs> Thank you. So do anyone have any public first? Public, yep. Okay, any public that would like to discuss our proposed FY 2024 annual city budget? Seeing none, do you uh, oh, okay. You want me up here? Yes, 
question. Was anything in 89 Mill Street here in Alma? i just uh, curious. I've been gone, obviously, for five and a half months, six months. Uh, where are we at this year as opposed to when I came back last year? We're, I missed the budget meeting, so I, I don't know where we're at. But are we in better shape than we were a year ago? Yes, much better shape. Um, as from staff's, you know, staff's and commission's point of view, um, we were in April of last year, we were 495,000 in the hole and trying to figure out where we had to go. This year, um, when we came to our, our proposed budget, we were only 100, about 20, 130,000. And we were able to move around a few projects capital wise to make that budget, for, um, make that balance for this year. Um, we're in good shape with um, everything from along those lines of from audit. Uh, we, we only had really one uh, finding that uh, we've, we've now fixed at our last meeting from uh, the policy that we needed for um, our fiscal, uh, what was that policy? Grant, our federal grant. Oh, yes, for um, Procedures. how uh, we're supposed to report and, and keep track of the federal grants. So that was one of our, our last check boxes. So from an um, audit standpoint, we should be have a nice clean audit next year. Um, we, uh, as a staff, we have not to fill a few positions. Um, and that was intentional um, to give us some more um, time after talking to the auditors and working with the finance department and the other departments of giving us some um, extra two or three years to get ourselves stabilized. Because last year was rough. It, w it was a lot I, of I didn't notice the look of impending new No, no. <laughs> board, so no, yes. And we've had a lot of discussions <laughs> and since you've you know, um, been out of town. We um, obviously we proposed increases in our rate of serve for water and sewer. Um, over the next couple, you know, two years, and then the unit uh, increases for water and sewer over the next, you know, uh, three years after that. Um, in years four and, and five, we have some increases in uh, the yard waste. We'll be held off on those earlier to kind of give a break um, for those those um, uh, fees to begin with. Um, after that, uh, our five-year plan uh, of those. Um, rate of serve and unit costs all our all those funds will be balanced um, as long as we follow through with what we proposed all those funds will be balanced operationally and from a capital standpoint and we mentioned that all these capitals we read off um, will require a usda loan or a, um, a state revolving loan fund loan and that's just because we need to upfront money and then those dollars coming in from our payment or Ratepayers will pay off our, our obligations for that. But uh, I'm happy to say, from that standpoint, um, that staff and, and commission, we, that's been a, a nerve wracking thing to go through of our water fund being as in dire straits as it was. But with the plan that we have in place that we're approving in this budget, we'll be um, not only um, balanced um, for operational, but also these capitals will be funded in, in the five years that we've. Plan. Great. All right. Thank you. Well. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Any other public comments on this particular topic? Uh, commissioners, have anything else to add besides the Yahoo? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, the Yahoo yes. part. Yeah. Yes. Definitely. Move to close the public hearing. No, no problem. Those in favor of closing the meeting? Aye. Aye. Hearing. Hearing, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, we're out of here. Yes. Thank you. Okay, so we all just go, yeah. <laughs> okay, so that public hearing review has been closed. We are now going to set a public hearing for May 23rd, 2023 at 6 p.m. or as soon thereafter as the agenda allows to receive public comment on an application for funding through a low interest loan program through the State of Michigan Drinking Water State Revolving Fund, the DWSRF. Move to set the hearing. <coughs> Support. Okay, all those in favor of setting the hearing? Aye. Yes. Aye. Um, any opposed? Okay, we have set a hearing. Okay, now we are down to request for purchase. Consideration of a request for purchase to Trace Analytical Laboratories in the amount of 
$1,555.72 for a local limits background study for the wastewater treatment plant. Thank you. All those in favor? Wait. Discussion. Or discussion. Discussion. Any discussion? <clears throat> Um, it's just the routine um, reports and, and testing that we have to send in to, to keep our licensing with, with the state of Michigan. So um, stuff that uh, <laughs> that's why we have those guys out of the wastewater plant. They do yeah. take care of all that. But that's uh, our cost for having those things tested and reports sent back to us. Any questions? Okay. Thank you. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? They have agreed to purchase. Resolution. First is a consideration of a re resolution adopting a declaration and notice declaring that portions of Conservation, Pine River Parks, Wright Park, and Riverside Park identified in Exhibit A contain certain restrictions as described in each document. The declaration and notice is a grant closeout requirement by the Michigan DNR. The grant received from Michigan DNR was through the Michigan Nat Natural Resources Trust Fund. These grant dollars were used for much needed park restroom renovations. Move to approve the support. Any discussion? Just uh, these are, like it, like it says, it's a closeout. It basically states that uh, we will not uh, use these assets on anything other than a public park, is basically what we're stating, um, attesting to. Good. Any other discussion? Questions? Okay. All those in favor? Say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Second, consideration of a resolution awarding conditional authorization for a recreational marijuana facility license with final authorization contingent upon completion of all requirements as outlined in the ordinance and policy to the following four applicants. Do we need to just say these and then make a motion for each individual one? Okay. okay. The first is DNVK Lapeer Incorporated for property located at 528 Warwick Drive, parcel number 29-51-332-258-40. And to adopt. Motion support. Um, in your agenda tonight is the resolutions um, that you'll approve that will give them their license to begin their process, either in the case of DN and DNBK, where they'll be working with the state of Michigan at their recreational marijuana, or the other uh, three entities that they do choose to move forward um, to hold building permits and, and begin the process. Okay, we have a motion. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, we have approved DNBK to here. Second is Fire Island LLC for property located at 1325 East Superior Street, parcel number 29-51-354-531-20. Move to adopt. Support. Okay, nope, same thing as uh, all four of these will be the same. Okay. All right, we have a motion and support. All those in favor of adoption? Say aye. 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 Any opposed? KN Michigan LLC for property located at 1465 Wright Avenue, parcel number 29-51-332-258-65. Support. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, please. Uh, MPMR 17 LLC. What does DBA stand for? Doing, Doing business as the Pier La Pier for property located at 1405 Wright Avenue, parcel number 29 51 332 257 00. Move to adopt. Support. <laughs> okay. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. We have approved all four. The rhythm is off. <laughs> okay, and now we are down to reports of officers, boards, and committees. The city commission may receive the following reports by one resolution. The city commissioner may remove any item within this section for individual discussion and vote. We have the Parks Committee draft minutes of April 24, 2023. Downtown Development Authority 
Draft Minutes of April 26th, 2023. Planning Commission Draft Minutes of May 1st, 2023. The Alma Transit April 2023 Report, Finance Report, and the City Manager's Newsletter. Move to receive one, two, five. Curtis, do you have anything? No. Mm, that's me. Okay, all those in favor say aye. Aye. <coughs> okay, we have all those opposed. <laughs> um, we have received one through five. Now we have the city manager's newsletter. Move to receive the city manager's newsletter. Support. Okay. Yep, I have a pretty small one here for tonight, but uh, just want to, most of it's just uh, informational, good, good news stuff. Uh, the Emma College Learning Commons had their um, um, dedication uh, last Thursday. Uh, the Greg Hatcher Learning Center was formally opened um, that uh, afternoon uh, in the main lobby. They had a standing room only, only um, audience. Um, maybe most people don't know, but uh, they will have, uh, there's an addition there, it's a little exciting, um, that will be open to uh, uh, the general public, which is a Cadoba Kitchen, which if you're not familiar, it's a Mexican restaurant that's a chain across the United States. Um, they will be opening soon. Um, they're waiting on some um, mechanical permits still through the state of Michigan, but that will be open to the public and uh, another restaurant to attend uh, or frequent here in the city. So, um, nice excitement uh, there. Um, the uh, Public Works uh, truck replacement, um, back in 2022, uh, the commission approved a replacement for Chuck, what's known as truck number 10, which is the public services uh, director's truck. Um, that truck was, I remember when that was purchased, uh, Ken Felt was here. <laughs> as, a, as a public service director, it's a long time um, And so, uh, anyway, we, uh, we uh, did um, approve a bid for a 2022 GM Sierra 1500 double cab 4x4 pickup as a replacement. Um, a little bit bigger truck, so it could be used for not only as a truck, but actually for snow plowing to be borrowed by the public works department as needed. Um, at the time when we did that, it was just the, the COVID and um, supply chain issues and, and uh, with that, uh, who they were providing trucks to, um, you know, first responders and, and, and similar types of uses of getting trucks first. Well, um, finally, um, uh, we've worked it out to actually get a truck, um, and I'm not, obviously like with everything, um, our, the truck price has gone up. Um, the original price that uh, the commission approved was for $31,133.75. Um, that was for a 22 Sierra that we mentioned. Um, an exact new truck, the exact same specs and everything, but that it, it was a part of the newsletter. Exact same specs, exact same truck, but a 2023 uh, Sierra 1500 is now at $38,098. Um, $38, that is under the Michigan My Deal pricing. And I don't know if you've been out pricing trucks or vehicles lately, but that is a really, um, that is a very nice deal on a pickup of that caliber. Um, this one is ready for delivery as soon as we say that we're good to buy that. Um, I wanted to make this a, um, underneath our, our purchasing um, policy at City Major, I could just have approved that, but I wanted to bring this to the board's attention because it's something that you approved feels like forever ago um, because of all the stuff that's happened um, with COVID and everything else. And I just wanted to put the, bring that to your attention and see if anybody had any reservations on that. But we're just not, I guarantee we're not going to find another truck like this for that price. Um, and it's ready for, for delivery whenever we get around to it. I see so, we get it or we're going to be paying 43000 right. for it. Right, exactly. <laughs> okay. We'll be waiting five more years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it, it's like I said, it's, it's a long time coming to replace that truck there, and it is borrowed. Um, it isn't something that's driven home. Um, actually, I've even borrowed it for KEV functions um, for cleanup days and stuff. So it is used by multiple departments. Um, some other good news: um, some two new murals are going downtown. Um, one is almost finished. Uh, the Alma College students are working on on Woodworth Avenue there. Um, that one was a a project that was kind of a, a carryover from the one that they did originally with the, the fish, we call it the, the fish mm -hmm. mural. Um, and they did a postcard um, uh, entry also as part of that, that, that class. And uh, so um, the owner of the building there, Ryan Smith, um, 
requested if the students would be willing to do another one. Uh, they went through the process with the KEB to approve the mural. And uh, it should, I think it's probably going to be done today, the way they were looking at it. Yeah. Yeah. It's looking so, pretty completed. It's a yeah. 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 And yeah. postcard of, um, for Welcome to Alice. It looks great. It looks really mm -hmm. nice. Uh, we have a second one going up, which will be more along the lines of a community-wide project like we did with the, the Community Arts Center mural that uh, is on the alley there. Um, this one is being commissioned by an alumnus of Alma College, just paying for the freight of that uh, to be done. Um, they are starting with the wall prep tomorrow and Thursday, and then the following week um, they will be back to do what they're calling, and put the, the flyer in, in uh, the packet, and we've had it on the Facebook page, the cloth method for murals. It's a three-day free workshop. Um, it's not you have to be the full three days. It's just you show up and you help them put on the, the cloth, and they teach you how to do that. Um, this method is useful for um, walls like we have, like this, this boiler house and like we had on the community art center. Um, it's the original sandstone brick that is very brittle and it doesn't hold paint very well. Um, so this method was developed uh, in conjunction with um, through Philadelphia and, and uh, murals arts and those sort of things. And, and we're fortunate enough to have Chaz um, Miller come back up and, and Amy um, Willington, who was a, uh, grew up here, to help us put this uh, new mural up. And um, I finally got to see the, um, the rendition or the, um, it's pretty slick. I, they haven't released it yet, they'll be doing that soon. Um, obviously it ties in the Scottish heritage of Alma College and the city of Alma. And then um, what was kind of cool about it, the, the, the background is a lot of scenery from Scotland, but inside of it is um, uh, little Easter eggs of how Alma ties into those, into those things. So it's a really, really cool thing. So, um, so they'll have that uh, on May 19th through 21st for the workshop. And then they'll begin the actual painting in, in June. So that was interesting information. Not being a <laughs> mural painter myself, I wrongly thought you just put it up on the wall. So that's no, very it, no, it's a <laughs> it's quite, it's quite the process. process yeah. 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 Um, and then once they're done, the wall will be better than it is now sure, for sure. Yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, for sure. So, um, so it'll look, it'll be your next there. And oh, the dates for the painting uh, will begin on June fifth, and and it'll go through June fourteenth for that. Um, the Alma Spires um, uh, reboot got underway on, on Monday, May 1st. Uh, we had over 80 um, uh, um, interested individuals show up to that. I think it was a good restart of that. Um, we'll be coming back to this board here soon um, with recommendation for um, the master planning consultant. Um, we meet, we're meeting with everybody to actually tomorrow afternoon to look over the two RFPs that uh, Mary Gratchett received for the master planning. So this is all kind of happening at the right time with one another. And then lastly, just um, two meetings in a row, we get to have some staff um, acknowledgements of some professional achievements. And this month, uh, or this, in this particular meeting, um, we get to thank uh, uh, Curtis Dancer, our city treasurer, and uh, Amy Huntoon, who is our deputy treasurer. Um, they re um, finished their requirements to receive their Michigan Certified Professional Treasurer certifications. Um, and they received those two weeks ago now, yes, two weeks ago now, um, during the, the, uh, their conference for that. Um, for this, they have to, to maintain their uh, certification. They must complete 60 hours of continued education through the MMTA or the MPT, US and C um, uh, associations for sponsored events for the next four years. Um, I do appreciate what uh, Amy and Curtis have been able to do here. A lot of things that uh, we had issues budget-wise and um, invoicing and all those sort of things were because we we needed people like this with these certifications and we're in much better shape and then with these certifications now on our belt going forward will be even better. So I um, appreciate their work and effort on that. Um, other than that, so that's all I had. And, Keep it short tonight. I, last few meetings, I've been talking your ears off. So. <laughs> okay. okay. So we had a. Do we, did we already motion. receive it on that part? Yep. Motion for it. So we need to vote um, to receive the city manager's newsletter. All those in favor, say aye. 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 <coughs> Any opposed? Okay. Thank you, Eric. Okay. Um, we have a couple of appointments. 
consideration of a resolution to reappoint Ann Swant, the Alma Public Library Board, for a five-year term ending June 1st, 2028. Move to adopt. Support. Any discussion or all those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? Okay, thank you, Ann Swan. Consideration of a resolution to appoint Ruth Poole to the Alma Housing Commission to complete the balance of a term ending December 31st, 2023, previously held by Gary Shirley. 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 Support. I'm sorry, <laughs> I was focusing on the last name. Um, we have a motion to support. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, thank you to Ruth Cool. Okay, new business. Consideration of a resolution to cancel the special city commission meeting scheduled for May 16th, 2023. This special meeting was scheduled on <laughs> April 11th, 2023 for additional budget review if necessary and does not need at this time. Move to adopt. <laughs> Support. All those in favor of canceling an extra meeting, <laughs> say aye. 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 Any opposed? <laughs> The next meeting, if three of us won't say anything about the room. Yeah, leave it up to everybody else. We have, we have canceled the meeting. Thank you. Um, appropriations. Move to pay the appropriation. Uh, I'd like to make a motion to approve the appropriations as amended. Oh, there as amended. was a slight um, difference yeah. in something, so. Um, so we hey, have Chris, a motion did you want to? Yeah, Chris, right. yes, okay. So yeah, we have support. support. Roger, yeah. supporting? Yes, okay. Thanks, Chris. To get a little background on it. Well, now that Eric's complimented us, we can tell you about how we made mistakes. <laughs> you gotta love um, so, yeah. so, we, yeah, we found just a couple of things when we went through our review. Um, one of them, the only thing that actually changed the amount was our invoice for Dell Technologies. Um, it got entered in as the PO total, but the invoice actually came in slightly under the purchase order amount. So, um, once we updated the actual invoice number, it made the um, total check warrant off about $85. So, slight change there. And then we also had two invoices that got entered in as the vendor was City of Alma instead of the employee who we were reimbursing for expenses. So, the amount was right, but we had to change the vendor. So, just a couple minor minor tweaks to get it right. Thanks. So. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we have any questions support? All those in favor of paying the appropriations as amended. Say aye. 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 Any opposed? We have paid the appropriations. Okay, um, commissioner's comments. Thank you, Michelle. Um, first of all, congratulations to Eric and Curtis and the whole staff for balancing the budget this year. And congratulations on your um, certifications. Also again, to congratulate Eric last week for the Citizen of the Year Order Tartan Award. It was a great ceremony. That person that gave you it was a little <laughs> shaky up there. She was nervous. Um, and um, I'll let Roger do the play. I'm done. Okay. <laughs> um, I just wanted to say the mural downtown looks amazing. And every single new one of those that goes up downtown, I think, adds a lot of vibrancy down there. Um, so that's really nice to see. And I also noticed today that they were putting up the art banners yes. um, throughout the downtown. Um, and those are really nice to see as well. Um, I think they add a lot to the downtown. Absolutely. Thank you. Roger. Um, Eric had a birthday today. Recently, also yes. happy birthday, boss. Yes. Yesterday, yes. yesterday, yes. yesterday, yesterday, yes. yesterday, yesterday. Yes. happy birthday. Oh my gosh, we've been um, talking to him and never said anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've been busy. Sarah. <laughs> That's why I forgot. Sarah forgot to tell us. No, <laughs> it's on the calendar. Sarah's on the calendar. Yeah, on the calendar. She didn't have it for Spamalot does open Friday for this weekend and next weekend. I don't know whether they've got six or eight. There may be eight performances. I think there may be a, a, a double one on the yeah, Saturday. Like on the Saturday, it was yeah. two and yeah. then a Sunday. Don't hold me to that, but I think. Yeah, I'm going to do it Saturday. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I saw it. Yes. Okay, well then we do. Um, anyhow, um, I went over and fooled around with lights a little bit yesterday and saw the thing in its entirety for the first time, and it's good. You're, it, 
if you like spam a lot and that sort of thing in any of the uh, guest type movies and Monty Python kind of stuff, it's true to form and very good and very funny and well acted and well sung and you will guarantee enjoy it. Uh, happy birthday to Eric, and uh, <laughs> congrats to Eric, uh, Curtis, and Amy on the accomplishments. Uh, nothing uh, further, Madam Vice Mayor. Thank you. Anything else, Eric? Nope. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> Good. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's it. I'm not happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty well done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, congratulations to Curtis and Amy, and thank you to Eric and the whole staff for the phenomenal budget this year. It's, it's much easier, um, much easier and much appreciated, so thank you. Um, do we have anything else? I guess um, now we have invitation to any of the public who would like five minutes to speak on any topic. Yes? My name is Dave Owens. I live in Spill Township. I'm a farmer and part-time contrarian. It's moot now that you've approved uh, item B on here. But I believe any place that you can keep a 100-pound dog that craps the size of a small pony, you should be able to keep two or three chickens. Roosters, they go in the pot, but uh, the amount of manure they're going to generate is minimal, and the people should be using that in the garden. But, like I said, it, it's a moot point, but uh, that's my two cents. Thank you. Anyone else? Okay, all right. I guess we can move to adjourn, friends. <laughs> move to so. adjourn. Support. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, thank you. Thank Good you. job, Roxanne. Thank you.